by now you're all aware of the loneliness epidemic that's going on with single men. And what I find really interesting is the amount of men that are coming to their aid. And rather than trying to encourage these men to be better catches, to encourage these men to be better partners. What? They'd rather try to guilt trip and shame women for not choosing them. Stop it. Get some help. Whether it's Tyler Perry saying even if all he could do is pay the light bill, if he loves you, take him. Yeah. And now you have this pastor. A pastor sounds like he's listening to these Manosphere podcasts. Even the pastor is saying that you're going to die alone. I want to ask a question. Are women single by choice? I say yes. I'm going to explain why right after this. <laughs> What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Happy Sunday. Click that like button, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. The question of the day, are women single by choice? Do you think so? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're a woman, leave a comment. If you're a single woman, tell us why you're single by choice. Without further ado, you know what we're going to do. Say it with me, y'all. We're going to roll that clip. Even the pastor is saying that you might as well get you some cats. You didn't get that out of the Bible, pastor, but you did get it from a podcast. Why not tell these men to be better? Why not tell these men to be better? Why not tell these men to be better? Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Why not tell them to be more emotionally intelligent and to help out around the house and to, to be caring and thoughtful and loving? You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. And to not think that everything revolves around them. As soon as women start decentering men, you start seeing men from the pulpit to the parking lot, sliding down the wall, throwing up and crying and all of that. It's like... They'll do anything but change. They'll do anything but improve. They'll do anything but be a better mate. Right. So now you have this pastor trying to guilt trip and shame women for not choosing these men. There's a reason why they're not getting picked. You tell women to pick better, and when we're not picking you, you get mad about it. It's because you're not better. Telling a woman that she'll be better off with just any of these men than being alone? There are worse things than being single. There are worse things than being alone. <laughs> So if you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you know that black women are horrible when it comes to dating and relationships. Statistical data proves that they are the least likely to get married. They, they make the least amount of money. So when a black woman says I'm single by choice, they are right. They are single because of the choices that they make, which now makes them single by choice. Pow. Oh! It's not that they're choosing to be single, but it's their choices that make them single. Take, for instance, an average everyday black woman. She watches BET, she watches Real Housewives, she participates in degenerate activities with her homegirls, and she's attracted to the poogie. Instead of vetting a man properly and telling the poogie to take a hike, you can't do anything for me, what does the black woman do, y'all? She goes after the poogie. She goes and runs toward the poogie. Like Forrest Gump, always running to Jenny. But at the end, Jenny did Forrest wrong in the movie Forrest Gump. Thinking of it like this, the poogie is always going to do the black woman wrong. But the black woman is so attracted to the poogie, which in turn makes her single by choice.
Why not tell these men to be better? To be better. To be better. Well, type of dudes do you like? I, just, I wasn't then. I just feel like nine to fives. Like I appreciate it and all, but it's just like the money too slow. Like you know, I've been needing money like every day. Like, I want to go shopping. I want to buy a new car. Like, whatever I feel like doing, I want to do. Like, I don't want to wait for you to get your paycheck. Like, you know what I mean? Because then you might have to save. You might have to do that. But, like, if you sell drugs or if you scam or whatever, like, you just going to have it. You know? Dating a drug dealer, I felt more feminine than I ever felt in my life. The best gifts I ever had in my life. I felt the most feminine with a drug dealer. The good guys, they're safe. They're gonna play us safe. They know that they're good guys and they do bare minimum. They act like I'm a good guy, so I ain't gotta do that. I ain't gotta do this, I ain't gotta do that. The drug dealer, he gon' he gon' step for you. And when you're young, the risk is worth that reward for you. But as you age and get older, you realize you can get that excitement from doing other things like So yes, ladies and gentlemen black women and women all over are indeed single by choice because it's their choices that make them single what other races get right is what black women continue to get wrong they date for a reason they have children within family they get married before they carry they don't allow a man to get them pregnant before they give them a run. Black women have been dating and dealing with men all wrong. They need to take advice from other groups of women, the Arabs, the Asians, the Caucasians, the Africans. Vetting a man properly is the reason why those women are not single and black women are. Black women focus more on career than a companion. Black women focusing on career still doesn't save them from being at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to income. Go back and watch the live that I did. That link will be right here. So when you look at the black woman's plight, a lot of black women will say, well, the black woman is the most disrespected woman on the face of the planet. I disagree. The reason why is because why do you expect the world to respect you? You don't even respect yourself. You're expecting Asians to respect you, whites to respect you, Arabic, Indian, and even your own black man to respect you, and you don't respect yourself. So if you don't respect you, how are we going to do it? If you don't love you, how are we going to? See, this is the dilemma and the real plight of black women. They lack self-love, self-control, and self-healing. They need therapy. They need healing. They need to release the pookies back into the wild and learn how to choose better mates. Instead of going to college for a career, ladies, you need to go to college for a companion. The only thing a black woman can teach another black woman is how to be just like her. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. I will be live this week. Y'all do not forget, subscribe to the channel, join the channel. Members only videos are coming very soon. And until the next video, peace.